Corey, overall, how do you assess your first outing? Uh, you know, it was fun to get back out there and, and have a chance to compete with the boys. Um, you know, I think that uh, all in all, I made pitches when I needed to. I think that there were a couple situations where, you know, fell behind some guys and, and wasn't able to work my way back in the count. Ultimately, one of them ended up scoring, which is frustrating. But, uh, you know, for the most part, when uh, there was traffic out there, I was able to make pitches. It seemed like that one inning you lost the plate a little bit for a while. How were you able to get back on track? Uh, you know, Matt came out. I, was, I got a little breather from that and just kind of, you know, tried to try to do what I always do and take it a pitch at a time. Um, like you said, there was a spurt there where I kind of got away from me, but but just kind of refocusing, staying one pitch at a time and, and, you know, focusing on the next pitch. I think that, you know, it's easy to, to get wrapped up in what happened previously, but, um, you know, I think really just kind of trying to take that mentality of, of executing each pitch and then moving on to the next one. Aaron Boone said he thought it was a step in the right direction for you. How would you how would you phrase it? Were you encouraged by the outing as a whole? I mean, I think that there's definitely things that I would have liked to have, have done better, but I feel like that's probably the case most instances for me. Um, you know, but I, I think that, that there's positives to take from it, and then there's there's things to look at and improve on as well. So I think that, uh, you know, we'll address this one today, tomorrow, and then, and then move on to the next one. Bruce Beck, you have the next question. Hey, Corey, getting out of trouble, what was it like to be out there battling again just to have that opportunity? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was, it was fun to to go out there and compete. Um, obviously, there was a couple situations where where the guys turned uh, some big double plays behind me to to get rid of some of that traffic. Um, but, you know, more than anything, just to, to be out there competing was, was fun. It was fun to have fans back in the stands, um, obviously. Winning makes it a lot better. Ron Blum, please unmute. Hi, Corey. During the long time out, what was it that you felt out there pitching today that you had missed most? Just competing with your teammates. Um, you know, you spend a lot of time by yourself rehabbing, whether it's away from the team uh, when they're on the road or coming in early, doing things before all the guys are in there and you, know, you kind of miss that team aspect of it, so that was probably you know the most fun part of it for me today was was going out there with my teammates and competing and trying to win. Go next to Justin Shackle, please unmute. Uh, Corey, what was it like uh, working with with Gary today against a lineup like this? I thought Derek, I thought Gary did good. Um, you know, I think that obviously he had the home run, which is. A big point in the ball game there too, but I thought he was good behind the plate. Uh, called a good game. Um, they have a lineup that's that's very aggressive, and you know there there are a lot of good hitters too. And I think that that he did a good job calling a game that that in, sp in spots took advantage of that aggressiveness. Um, you know, I, I think that that all in all, it was it was good. Go next to Laura Albanese. Go ahead, Laura. Hi, Corey. At least from the outside looking in, you're known as someone who can keep their composure, can keep their emotions in check on the mound. But is there any sort of mental challenge from getting back up there after such a long, after such a long lag? And uh, how do you deal with that? Absolutely. I think that uh, that's that's one of the the aspects of you know missing time, so to speak, that I think you can't account for is is that emotional side of it, you know, the ups and the downs of getting ready for a game, you know, throughout a game, things like that. Um, I think you just have to rely on experience, uh, you know, keep reminding yourself that you've done it before and and kind of go back to the things that have worked for you in the past. Uh, Bob Clappish, please unmute. You have the next question. Hey, Corey. Uh, I'm just wondering, I mean, sort of piggybacking on Laura's question, um, was there an emotional reaction to actually pitching Yankee Stadium, wearing pinstripe, being a Yankee? Do you feel like a Yankee yet, or is that a work in progress process? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm part of the team, you know, in that clubhouse. I'm not sure uh, how to answer another way. Um, but but I, I think that, like I said earlier, I think that having a chance to go out there and compete with my teammates, um, you know, when you get 26 guys all – all trying to go out there and win a ball game, um, you know, that's that's a fun thing to be a part of.